see how reinforcement learning works and how it can be then extended and applied to the image processing group. Okay, so we'll start with what is reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is uh, so this is the typical system for a reinforcement learning. So that is what we do every day, right? So uh, so there is an environment and there is an agent so agent is uh, so this is basically how humans respond to the stimuli so that it is based on uh, that mechanism so typically we are an agent and we have an environment uh, to which we respond like if we are coming to college every day then uh, we know which roads are blocked which roads are busy which roads are easy what time of the day it is easy to travel Right? or we want to stop close then we know which store to go to which we like right so so that's the environment we have there are n number of clothing stores but we'll go to few selected ones because we either like their environment we like their collection and so on so there is some reward associated with choosing that action because we know that this is something that is good or we go to certain restaurant there are some and there are thousands of restaurants, but we go to specific ones because we want to reward ourselves with good taste, with good value for money and so on. So that is the rewards we have. Okay. So that is the rewards we have. Sometimes that restaurant is not serving well. So that's the feedback that we receive. Okay. With that feedback, this agent learns again and it changes its action. Next time we want to go to a restaurant, we will not go to that go to something else right so these feedback mechanisms are inbuilt in this reinforcement learning and that's why this is also an example of an online learning algorithm so as you uh, as the data is coming as the information is coming you change the way you behave okay that means you change the way you are taking action so putting this mathematically is the whole study of reinforcement so this our common sense thing that how we work how we decide how we take action putting that into a mathematical framework is the notion of reinforcement learning. obviously there are many 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 methods of doing reinforcement learning. so there is some theory and then there is the implementation so there are multiple implementations we are going to see one specific implementation which is called as Q-learning. So Q-learning is an algorithm which is uh, implementation or uh, instantiation of a reinforcement learning strategy. Okay. So what is reinforcement learning? It has an agent, it has environment, it has a state. State meaning what, where we are, what we are doing. There is a state space in the sense that what are different things that are possible. Uh, there is an action that we are going to take and there is an action space meaning that what different types of actions that are possible. There is a reward. Reward can be positive or negative. That basically allows to learn. And then at the end, uh, we have a value or return on doing all the actions or reaching our goal. And that is all decided by a policy and these all states and actors are put together with a policy so what action we are going to take at which state is basically policy okay so uh, next so uh, whenever we do any um, whenever we do typically uh, uh, a reinforcement learning we have to take things into consideration of what we have done till now. Okay. But keeping that history is difficult because the more history we keep, the more exponential the state space becomes and more computation is required. So to simplify that, what is done is typically they are assumed to be a Markov decision process. So in Markov decision process, there is no history. So, uh, so for example, here one person who has done PhD, 
and we are currently doing course growth has come from different right but now doing phd in image processing now uh, course dog in image processing but typically you will find that uh, people do uh, btech mtech phd in the same area right so uh, so you see that the history the background whether that postdoc person is doing a phd is good enough for us okay so a phd can do a postdoc we are not going back and trying to figure out what kind of things they are doing so depending on uh, how much history you require the process is same but to simplify our computation typically we take history as zero we say that we are here now tell what us what next to be done okay. so that when we convert that to history as zero we convert that problem into a markov decision process or markov decision so that process is called as markov decision process and the problem is called as markov decision process because in markov decision so markov was a russian mathematician who studied or built the foundation the statistics for all such processes which don't have it so we are taking that and markov had done this work in 1920s so 100 years back so we are taking this work and uh, still this is the state of the art so we are taking this work and convert it into so that is called as a markov property that zero history all such processes called as markov processes and uh, the reward that we get the decision we get is are all basically markov so it is basically in the honor of uh, the mathematician markov so this is the markov property so future is independent of the past given the present so what we are going to do in future has no bearing on the past it is just dependent on the present so that is what the markov process is and uh, so the markov uh, state uh, has a property such that the next state the probability of going to the next state is depending on the current state so it is same as whatever state previous states you must have come it doesn't matter what matters is only the current state. the probability of going to the next state though whatever is the history is only dependent on the current state. so that is the markov property and uh, this is the straight transition matrix where now you have uh, current this matrix basically says that we are in state 1 so this row will define we are in state 1 going to state 1 we are in state 1 going to state so what is the probability of taking that next state is given by this transition matrix and uh, because in if we are in whatever state we are going to some state in the next step so all of these rows should sum to one okay so uh, so this is the notation that uh, we are going from state s to s dash where at time t plus 1 state is s dash and at time t the state is s now a markov process is a tuple where s is a set, set of states and p is a transition probability matrix so with this we define a markov process so let's take an example so an example is like uh, uh, we are let's say playing tic tac toe okay so there are several states so each configuration of that tic tac toe x x0 configuration is the is a state so if if my opponent has played x at the right hand lower corner okay what i can play so right hand lower corner has been taken there are eight different uh, positions available to put zero right so there are eight different states i can go to from this state right so 
this becomes the set of t and the probability to choose which one so i will have some i have played tic tac toe multiple times so i know when the right hand side lower has been put what should i put next which where i should put a zero so that is my probability so i'll put a zero at some point most of the time i will put a zero at the same place but there will be sometimes i would like to experiment so i'll put somewhere else so you see that so that becomes the probability so there is a probability of choosing a state depending on where the first x has been put so that is one state we are going to the next state in the next state we will have one x and one zero so there are eight such poss possibilities and there are there is a probability of choosing that so can this state and the probability transition make a markov process okay that is the definition of a markov process now we define so when we play a tic tac toe then we might win or we might lose when we win we try to remember those steps and try to reinforce it saying that next time if this happens i will play the same thing whereas when we lose we try to say that okay this at, yeah, at least try to give lower probability to that so that is the reward so this happens intrinsically that like what we happen we try to do it so no go to step back so this reward process is like this and uh, there is one discount factor which is put in the discount factor is put in so that uh, because we do this multiple times and if we do this uh, theoretically infinite number of times when we play so that we refine our knowledge then if we don't give this future discount factor so for next plays we will keep on adding the reward and rewards will also go to infinity so to dampen the uh, the amount of rewards that are we are going to play after say 1 million times 1 trillion times so that dampening factor is given so that our computation finishes in feasible time and after a certain moment when the rewards will become insignificant will just stop stop computer okay so so that's why discount factor is added so that we have a limited number of episodes a limited number of computations that we need to do so that is the reward process and now this is the return so a return is a total discounted reward from time step t in the sense that uh, so what we are saying is that if i am playing a particular thing particular step let's say tic tac toe and i know that this was a winning move then i would have uh, this much reward so we, we let's say quantify reward if we win i get 100 points but if i take this step i get 20 points because i am already taking a winning move so i have this reward for all the steps that are that we are doing and these are discounted so that the future rewards are so this is a mathematical framework we are developing okay so uh go back one minute so this is the uh, reward is basically sum of all the future rewards starting from this one. okay next so value function uh, of a markov uh, reward process is the expected return starting from state x so if i am in a particular state what is the expected reward i am going to get so that is a basically averaging over a very large sample space uh, that is what we are talking about for large sample space what is the average reward i am going to get okay so that is defined by vs okay uh so uh so this value function that was vs can be decomposed into two parts one is uh 
बाहेर म्हणजे एकदम बाहेर खेळतो ग्राउंड वर सो इट कॅन बी डिकम्पोज इन टू टू पार्ट दॅट इज वन पार्ट इज द इमिडिएट रिवॉर्ड दॅट इज फॉर दॅट स्टेट अँड द डिस्काउंटेड रिवॉर्ड फॉर द नेक्स्ट स्टेट दॅट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट सो इफ यू सी दॅट uh we take vs as expected value of gt given the starting state as s where this is the immediate reward and then discounted reward for further state now this discounted rewards if we basically uh take this uh take this uh, gamma as common then we see that this discounted reward actually is starting from state s plus 1 we can basically do a short form of this that expected reward of gs is nothing but uh, the immediate reward plus gamma times the reward from the next one. okay so let's go back all the slides and let's see all of these things. so this is the uh, our model of reinforcement learning next 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 so this is the probability uh, this is the markov property that the probability only depends on the current state then this is a state transition matrix okay so this is like current state going to the next state next this is the markov process which have set of states and the transition probability matrix then we have a reward function and a discounted factor so that we don't get into infinite rewards now we are playing with rewards we are trying to see how much is the uh, maximum reward uh, return that a markov process can give so this is that next so we have now saying that uh, this maximum return for a particular state so that is v given by vs that is the expected value of this reward starting at state s as at the current point of time which is same as next uh, expected value of the current reward plus discounted reward for the from the next okay we are till here okay so now uh, this markov decision process is now given by uh this couple the set of states the set of actions that we can do the uh state probability matrix the uh the reward function given at the state s and the action we do and uh, the discount factor so this defines the markov decision okay. so till now everyone gets right okay next so now the new definition is the policy so policy says that what action i am going to take uh, for a particular state so it's basically the uh, probability of that particular action for that state so currently uh, till now we had going from state to state now when we are going from state to state we also take one action right so we are Uh, so like when we are playing tic tac toe we are going from one state to the next state where in first state we had 1x in the next state we had 1x and 10 but we are taking an action of putting a zero in a particular box okay so this is the probability of putting that zero okay so okay so for example other thing can be like uh today it is not raining tomorrow it might be raining so we might go from not raining to raining okay and the action can be very different so action can be like i carry uh, umbrella with me or not okay so so this is the probability of that action given today's condition right so so a policy defines the behavior of the agent so it defines what action it is going to take next and it also defines which state it is going to <laughs> go next 
<laughs> again the policy and action only depend on the current state okay so uh the uh, state value function we talked only about the expected value of the uh, reward given the state okay whereas the action value function will also have uh, state and the action okay, so now we will have two tables one which is from state to state and another state to action so in what state we are going to take what action and from that after that taking that action in which state we are going to go okay. so uh, the value function of s uh, for state we have already seen is the expected value of the current reward plus gamma times uh, discounted value of the reward from the next state similarly we can have uh, uh state action uh, state action uh, function which states that expected value of the current reward plus gamma times this gamma times the uh, same uh, so we see that there is this like we have this v we have this q so state action for the next day. okay so from here when we have defined this uh, two policies we can have the optimal policy and optimal policy is basically nothing but first finding out what is the optimal function for v and q and what is the optimal function of v and q is basically go back to that state transition matrix so once once we have calculated this the optimum value of p would be whatever is the highest q that is the optimal probability of the next state okay. so the optimal probability uh, optimal value is nothing but it's uh, it's nothing but whatever is the maximum value in that row okay so similarly the optimum value of state action is the maximum action value over all policies right so good go back so the optimal value function specifies the best possible performance in the ndp and uh, the mdp markov decision process is solved when we know the optimal value okay so this this is our assumption based on this assumption we are trying to do we are trying to solve this whether this works in real life or not we don't know because you see regression or any other machine learning technique they have their own assumption they find their own function which is optimal in their own way so this is also an assumption and based on this assumption which mostly because we are mimicking the human processes natural processes this work mostly uh, in a very good way but obviously uh, we need to study the data on which we are working on we need to study the problem and then apply different machine learning techniques for many of the techniques this works very well especially the techniques which are human generated or human actions are there okay. and that's why we work uh, on this we try to work on the stock market data where there is a lot of high human action involved the stocks move because there is someone who is buying or selling okay. once that action is done then only the stock will move otherwise if there is no buying or selling the stock will remain stagnant okay. that price will not move so jagdish Uh, phd thesis was actually using reinforcement learning applying it to the stock market data and we got very good results we got many publications out of that okay so so uh, there can be many policies 
and uh, how we define the policy is basically uh, now we are trying to find the policy right so we want to try to find the two matrices one is the state transition matrix and state action transition matrix so uh, now mathematically we want to define if there are multiple number of these matrices given which matrix is the best which matrix is the optimal so we are trying to define that and then once we define that we will have a mathematical model of achieving that so given any policy that is any uh, state transition matrix or any state action matrix we define that if uh, this for every pi s uh, v s is greater than v dash s for all is then we say that we can this policy is better than the earlier policy and uh, so uh, we say that so we don't prove this was proven by markov that there exists an optimal policy that is better or equal to all other policy so given so we want to find this policy which is optimal which is better than all other policy which will give us the best reward so we want to optimize the reward next so the reward can be like in the terms of stock market the reward was the mag amount of profit that we are going to make but in terms of tic tac toe it can be the number of times we win the game so reward definition can change with the problem so this q learning algorithm this is a very specific instance as i told you of solving a reinforcement learning problem so reinforcement learning we are having we are trying to make uh, we are trying to find the optimal policy and our assumption is that once we find that optimal policy we will solve all the problems in the world okay so this is the best policy possible so this is one technique of finding there are multiple techniques this is one technique of finding uh, the q learning algorithm and uh, this uh, code like this library is available in python so so q learning algorithm is basically a reinforcement learning technique and uh, it has its own q table so this q table is basically state so a state action table is called as q table here and uh, so as we have seen that the reward so what it does is that this q table is populated by not looking at the states now by just looking at the rewards that we are going to get so here it says that ki whatever state we are in what is the maximum rewards i can get in the next step what is the maximum rewards i am will going to get in the next next step and so on so basically like we had a model our state function we are modeling our reward function also on future projected rewards which we have not seen yet okay so if we basically model like this our reward function it looks like rt is equal to sigma equals to 0 to infinity gamma rs to k r t plus right so this is basically short form of this and uh, now this q table is populated the estimated reward that we are going to get given state s and doing action a okay. and uh, q function is basically the maximum q reward that we can get so it is modeled exactly on the similar lines but now we are focusing only on reward we are not focusing on the state okay so again it is uh, q star sa is given by the same equation so so if we simplify this what we get is q of Uh, q value of the state 
and action is equal to whatever it was so this is this is the next iteration so we are doing computing using multiple iteration so in the first iteration we had all zeros like go back so this q table was all zeros in the next iteration we update it saying that uh, whatever was the earlier value plus the current reward into uh, the next possible reward minus the uh, minus the so that we are adjusting it so that we don't get infinite reward so this alpha is the new thing that has been introduced and alpha is the learning rate the higher alpha we have the the higher alpha we have we will basically uh, very quickly convert but mostly we will convert at a local local magnitude the lower alpha we have will require more iterations to convert but we will converge most probably in the global magnitude okay so this is an approximation okay so what we are saying is that we will approximate this iteration iterative approximations we will do we will compute the uh, q values again and again and this will give us most probably the best way to choose given a state choose the next state given a state choose the next action so madam this will share can i yeah so okay so this alpha basically defines what is called as the exploration versus exploiting so this is a typical uh, theme in any ai technique is that uh exploration is finding out new things and exploitation is doing the same thing again and again when you do the same thing again and again you become expert in that and uh, you dive deep into that right whereas when you explore you reach the more depth depending on how much exploration and how much exploitation you do your algorithm so that alpha is basically uh doing the choice between how much exploration should be done and how much exploitation should be done so meaning that uh, if you have a lower alpha that means that you are doing more exploitation uh, sorry exploration and ex when you have a higher alpha that is the other way around okay so so it's like again coming from our day to day experiences if you are teaching say let's say microprocessor 5 years 7 years 10 years 15 years you will discover so many small small things that you become expert you are exploiting that but if you basically teach every semester you teach a different subject you will have a very broad view of that field but uh, intricacies insight you will not be able to develop you have to have a balance so that is basically that alpha is doing so we do this day in day to day life so these are all things in reinforcement learning this is a new technique uh, it is not supervised learning or unsupervised learning this is a different technique where we are trying to mimic how humans behave so next so this is the q learning algorithm so we initialize the Uh, qsa that is the uh, and uh, that can be arbitrary and it can be all initialized to zero so we can have all initialization typically you'll see all examples this is initialized to zero and then we have each episode episode means that uh, we have uh, uh, one step taken step from starting to the goal and in the goal we might be rewarded positively or negatively so each episode you can consider a game of tic tac toe so you play the game you go from one step to another and then either you win or lose or draw so let's say if you win you plus 100 if you lose minus 100 and draw say minus 50 because you don't want draw and right? so you can give like that and uh, 
so you repeat uh, so each step in the episode you choose a policy and uh, you take that action defined by the policy once that action is taken you update the q table okay you update the q table and uh, then you update the you go to the next step so you have taken a step you go to the next step and you keep on doing this again and again and again thousand times million times and so on and then your table will stabilize and that table where going from state to state going from state to action will give us what what is the most optimal strategy to be followed okay again i am telling you this is an approximation so the first approximation is that there is no history so we are actually discounting lot of things the second approximation is that we are able to find an optimal policy which is the best policy the third approximation is that q table is the best way to find that optimal policy okay and the fourth approximation is that this q table can be can be found out using iteration right so all of these are approximations and each approximation adds its own errors in this value okay. so this may not be optimal for many of the things but what we have found is that this works very well when human or human generated things are involved and uh, we'll see the example of this at the end so first we'll under next so i hand it over to jagdish for so whatever we have done we'll do it in uh, python and then i'll come back and we'll talk about the example okay सरांना पाठवून द्या सर पाठवून द्या so jagdish is sharing a google collab link so that you can have a look at the code and uh, you can execute as well साढ़ेअरा पाने बारापर्यत है ना जब ठीक है
शेतीपर्यंत वेळ लागेल तर मग हा नाही मग समजा जर मी उतरला नाही तर मग समजून घ्या तुम्हाला हम्म हॅलो कन्या मोबाईल वर चालून जाईल हा तुम्ही दाखवून द्या ना जगदीश एक दाखवून द्या मग आपण हे करते राहुल जी Yes, that is, I think you can start. So, what sir, I discussed with reinforcement learning and one of the algorithms in reinforcement learning is still learning. Hello, this is what I have discussed with you. So, we will see the Python implementation of this algorithm. So, basically in reinforcement learning, there is a concept of state and action.
think that uh, this every group is a state. We can use any representation to represent the what we can say state and state space. And in this example, I have considered state space. So there are total nine states. So number of states are nine. Okay. And uh, I have number V from 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 8. So total state are 9. So this is our state space. Similarly, a robot. So this is about the state and state space. Okay. Another important concept is reinforcement learning action. So, what action an agent can take? Okay. So, in this case, if there is a robot. Okay. So, he can move left. He can move. He can move right, up or down. So, suppose there are only four actions possible: left, right, and up, down. So our action space will be four. So एक बार हमने एक्सप्रेस कर दो, इसके बाद जो न्यू स्टेज की आपको कर दो, एक बार आप देखो। so I am uh, importing a numpy library that is required for data manipulation. मोबाइल वर्न करा ओके सो आई हैव इंपोर्टेड द नंबर लैबी ओके सो नाउ आई विल टेक द टू वेरिएबल फर्स्ट इज नंबर ऑफ स्टेट सो इन दिस एग्जांपल देयर आर टोटल नाइन रूम so number of state equal to 9. Then number of actions. So our actions is 4. So number of actions are 4. Then as per discuss, the HI to learn the policy. So give us a state what action he will take. So in Q learning, that policy is represented using the table. So this is the table. Means here there are no states. State 1, state 2, state 3, up to state number 8. We have state from 0 to 8. So these are the 9 states. Then action 1, action 2, action 3, and action 4. So these are the actions. So this is the Q table. So initially, all the values are what we can say random or it can be 0. So initially, in this Q table, uh, I have taken all the values 0. Now we will apply Q learning algorithm to find out the optimal policy. So after applying the Q learning algorithm, we will find out the optimal policy. So what will be the optimal policy? So meaning of optimal policy here is given a state zero, which action we have to take. So here one, two, three, four. There will be Q value. Suppose this is the state. S1. Okay. So for this state, you will have four values. That is equivalent to different different. Sir, yes, uh, we have different policies in the state board. We can different policy to one. So now depending upon the state, depending upon the state, that can be done. Uh, it's not uh, mandatory that we need to take three and three one. Yes. And according to them, then Q will be varying, no sir. Yes. So. In this example, there are nine rules. So nine states and action are four. So for a state, if the agent is in a state, so four action are possible. So in this Q table, there will be four Q values. So agent will take action 
whose q value is more if the q value of action number 2 is more then we will take action number 2 so we have to find out this table so that will be done by what we can say two learning algorithm so internally that two learning algorithm gives a win win equation for updating this value So now this is reward function. So based on problem, so we can learn the reward, or we can directly provide the reward. So if you have a problem statement, you have to give a reward function. So we can say the reward function is a hyperparameter. So we learn it, and we provide the reward. So what is the reward function? Agent in the room zero. Okay, so अगर वो left side में जाता है, तो ये possible नहीं है, वो घर से बाहर निकल जाएगा। अगर अब जाता है, तो भी possible नहीं है। क्या action possible है? We can go right hand down. तो सारी action है। So third thing is not possible, second action is not possible, third action is possible, and fourth action is possible। तो यहाँ पे क्या है? ये inverted action है, तो possible नहीं है। We will represent that using minus sign. तो जो एक्शन पॉसिबल है उसको अगर मतलब जो एक्शन पॉसिबल है उसको नेगेटिव वन रिवर्ड देंगे जो पॉसिबल है उसको जीरो रिवर्ड देंगे सिमिलरली ये गोल स्टेट है तो गोल स्टेट ये अगर आप स्टेट नंबर फाइव में हो स्टेट नंबर फाइव में हो और आप डाउन एक्शन परफॉर्म करते हो तो यू विल बी इन अ गोल स्टेट Similarly, what's the matrix? 
Similarly, in MDC there was a component that is state transmission factor. So, this is the problem. This is the state. Okay? So, this is state transmission. So, these are the state 0, 1, 2, 3 of the state and these are the actions. So, if you are in a state 0, a hot issue, you will have state 0 below. So, action 1 comes from there. These are actions. Action 0, 1, 2, and 3. So if you are in a state 0, so action 0 applies only. So you will be in a fixed state. Invalid state. So I'm going to be like this. This is 0 to 0 minimum. Similarly, action 1 performed for me. After that, I will be able to do it. If you perform action 2, what is that? Right side will charge. So, if you go to the right side, 0 to 1. So, that's why I have written here 1. Similarly, if you perform third action perform for me, then you will be in a state 3. So, this will be 3. So, accordingly, it is a good idea. So, last state is 1. For example, if you are in state number 8, and you are in state number 8, परफॉर्म करते हैं तो आप सेवन में आ जाओगे, अगर आप अपवर्ड जाओगे तो आप फाइव में आ जाओगे, डाउनवर्ड जाओगे, इनवैलिड मूवर वहीं जाओगे, ठीक है? उसके बाद राइट में जाते हो तो वो भी इनवैलिड है, आप वहीं जाओगे। तो ये ट्रांजिशन बैटरी है। ये भी हाइपर पैरामीटर में भी आपको प्रोवाइड क Similarly, this was the experience of the railway equation. So, it is updation with that. So, it is iterative process. So, number of episodes, there are 5,000 years. So, what will happen in one episode? The Q value was, that will be updated. Episode means that it is starting from initial state to cold state. The agent will travel from initial state to गोल स्टेट के बीच ये एंटर एपिसोड होगा। डूरिंग जब एपिसोड ही विल टेक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एक्शन। तो हर टाइम क्यों नहीं तो अपडेट होगा। अब इसके आपको समझ में आएगा। एपिसोड का मतलब क्या है कि अगर ये स्टेट में इसको एक एक्शन परफॉर्म की सपोज वो इस स्टेट में आ गया इस स्टेट में चला गया एक स्टेट में एक्शन लेंगे नेक्स्ट स्टेट में भी ये ऐसे चलते रहेंगे इवेंटली वो कभी ना कभी गोल स्टेट में पहुंच जाएगा वो हो गया एक एपिसोड हो गया अच्छा उसके बाद इसके बाद क्या इसके बीच में सपोज 
जो एक पर्टिकुलर स्टेट में है ठीक है और बेस्ड ऑन वो पॉलिसी एक्शन डिसाइड जो सूटेबल है अगर मैं देख रहा हूं कि कौन सी एक्शन परफॉर्म करनी है दैट विल बी डिसाइडेड बाय पॉलिसी और पॉलिसी का मतलब सूटेबल तो इनिशियली जो सूटेबल है क्या सब रैंडम ही है मतलब इनिशियली सूटेबल तो सारे ही जीरो है ठीक है तो इनिशियली वो टेबल देखता है क्या हो गया एश्योरेशन तो इनिशियली एश्योरेशन कम करता है इनिशियली सॉरी अगर वो टेबल से ही अगर डिसाइड करते हैं कि एक्शन कौन सी लेते हैं एक्शन की एक्सप्लोइट लेते हैं इनिशियली एक्सप्लोइट से नहीं करते इनिशियली एक्सप्लोर करते हैं तो इनिशियली रैंडमली डिसाइड करते हैं कि लेना ये चीज है तो रैंडमली बुक से लेकर एक्शन सो एक स्टेट है और आपने एक एक्शन डिसाइड कर लिया तो उससे क्या होगा यू विल गेट रिवॉर्ड आपको कुछ ना कुछ क्या मिलेगा रिवॉर्ड मिलेगा तो और आपको नेट ट्रेड मिलेंगे एक स्टेट है आपने एक्शन ली तो आपको क्या मिल सकता है रिवॉर्ड मिलेगा और नेट ट्रेड मिलेगा तो ये इक्वेशन के सारे पैरामीटर मिल जाएंगे तो वो जो स्टेट और एक्शन की जो पी वैल्यू है वो चेंज हो जाएगी बाय यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन तो वो जीरो था तो उसमें कुछ चेंज आ जाएगा ठीक है फिर से न्यू न्यू एक्शन तो उसकी पी वैल्यू ये इक्वेशन से चेंज होगी तो देयर वन इक्वेशन तो ये पी वैल्यू चेंज होने के लिए आपको रिवॉर्ड चाहिए इमीडिएट रिवॉर्ड और नेट ट्रेड चाहिए तो उससे वो की वैल्यू मिलती जाएगी और की वैल्यू अपडेट होती जाएगी शुड वी डू दैट एग्जांपल ये करा के क्या ये कसा होता मुझ कैलकुलेशन एक स्टेप की एग्जांपल घ्या ना एक काम करा हां हे हे क्रॉस करून दे हे हे क्रॉस करू मोठा करा नहीं पहले ते दाखवा लगे सो दिस इज अ स्टार्ट एंड दिस इज द फिनिश so these are all five rooms 1 2 3 4 5 5 and there is so from 2 you can't go to 4 directly you can go to 3 so from room 2 you can only go to 3 from 3 you can go back to so so currently we this is the start and this is the goal that is the room number 5 and there are only these things you can go so the reward function is that when you reach this five it is 100 and all others are zero and then from room 2 you can't go to room 1 directly so you have a negative reward function there so you can go down to now now we can explain so you have to give an example here and this is for us to discuss you can see that har room ke beech mein obviously there are many bus so unke beech mein door hai so aata hai us अगर ये जो नंबर है लेबर है वो हटा देते हैं तो ट्रांजिशन है अगर वो लगते हैं तो दैट विल बी रिवॉर्ड सो दिस इज द इनिशियल सेटिंग and then we need now need to calculate so this is the reward function this is initial equation this is done for तो वो 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 हाँ तो ये यू कैन गो तू स्टेप फाइव फ्रॉम रूम नंबर वन फोर और फाइव दैट साइड इस रिवॉर्ड फंक्शन का हंड्रेड और अदर वेर यू कैन नॉट गो तू इस जीरो एंड वेर वी कैन गो इस माइनस वन 
तो वो वी आर गोइंग फ्रॉम वन टू फाइव तो मैक्स ऑफ दीज थिंग सो मैक्स ऑफ दीज वैल्यू फाइव कैन वी कैन गो फ्रॉम फाइव टू वन और फाइव टू फोर और फाइव टू फाइव सो करंटली एवरीथिंग एल्स इज जीरो फॉर दिस सो दिस मैक्स वैल्यू इज दिस जीरो हाँ तो तो दिस इज रिवॉर्ड दिस इज क्यू वैल्यू दीज आर दीज टू डिफरेंट टेबल so initially the q table are all zero so the reward for 1 to 5 is 100 so ye computation aa raha 100 isko multiply karke learning le aur usko subtract karenge old q value se to ab itna samjhe ki ye jo q value hai that is going to be updated pehle jo thi wo nahi the can be more than 100 any time It can be any. It can be any. It can be any number. So, if it is any number, any number can be any number. So, what? ये तो एक स्टेप हो गया सर हाँ एक स्टेप हो गया ऐसे बहुत सारे स्टेप लेके एक एपिसोड होगा और ऐसे एक एपिसोड मतलब एक गेम और एक ये और ऐसे बहुत सारे गेम्स खेलने उसके बाद हाँ हाँ ये एनी वैल्यू तो इनिशियली क्या थी ये जो q1.5 है इसकी जो q वैल्यू थी वो जीरो थी इनिशियली लेकिन ये कंपटीशन करने से क्या हुआ उसकी वैल्यू चेंज हो गई बिकॉज़ ऑफ ये रिवॉर्ड जीरो नहीं है अगर रिवॉर्ड जीरो होता तो वो अपडेट होकर जीरो ही होता तो इनिशियली क्या है वो सारा ही जीरो रहता है तो हम क्या करते हैं रैंडमली एक्सेस देते हैं और बेस्ड ऑन दैट वो क्यू वैल्यू चेंज होती जाएगी तो जैसे जैसे एपिसोड आगे आगे बढ़ते हैं जो मतलब जो और एक्सप्लोर जो था वो धीरे-धीरे बढ़ते जाता है अगर एक्सप्लोर 1 है तो उसे एक्सप्लोर नहीं करते एक्सप्लोर करते हैं तो ये जो है अगेन चेंज हो गई है इनिशियली सारा ही जीरो जीरो था अभी यहां पे 80 यहां पे तो इवेंचुअली यहाँ पे जो मेरा कोड है उसमें फाइव थाउजेंड एटी फोर मिलने वाले तो उसमें एक स्टेट और एक्शन मुझे दे रहे हैं तो बार बार आप भी करेंगे जो इसमें थोड़ा ऊपर जाओ गो तो यहाँ पे गो अप गो वन 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 स्लो 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 This is this was episode one where we got one hundred. Yes. Now we are doing one episode two. थोड़ा slow जाओ ऊपर थोड़ा 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 सा ऊपर. Okay. यहाँ यहाँ पे यहाँ. कौन है? हाँ ये पढ़ने दो. Selected we on on this new state we selected room three, and from three we have to choose one action. Go down. So from three we have to choose one action there are three actions that are possible with zero so randomly we are choosing one so we are choosing one of them so let's the uh, action chosen is one thoda dheere dheere ja yeah. 
by selecting action 1 as the next state we have the following possible actions very very good so once say we can have this and this so here clearly we are going to choose this right so now our episode is 3 to 1 1 to 5 okay so now 3 to 1 is humko calculate karna hai so 3 to 1 is what 3 to 1 plus 0.5 into max the next state can go to 1 to 3 or 1 to 5 so here 1 to 5 was 100 and our this learning rate is 0.8 so 3 to 1 reward from 3 to 1 is 0 but uh, the queue table already was in updated so now the next queue table for 3 to 1 will be updated so now there will be two values in queue table one is 100 another is 80 100 and 80 so is tarah se wo update hote jayega so this will happen for the next episode where we are going from 3 to 1 and 1 to 5 then we will have another episodes and we will have multiple such episodes multiple such gameplay and we will update it so this optimal value can be done in two ways so we can have the number of episodes one million episodes ke baad will stop or we can say that ki from this matrix to this matrix in consecutive three or four matrices we are not seeing any change will stop in the episode ke baad bhi koi matrix change nahi ho raha hai so will stop so stopping can be based on threshold or it can be based on the number of episodes yes so jitna discount factor kam rahega utna zyada time lagega no so it is depends on your experience no no it is based on your experience and trial and error so it depends on the problem one and minimum and uh, close to zero close to zero zero to one no you go down no? so so go down show the last matrix after yeah 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 so go go, go slightly yeah. so this is the q matrix after many many iterations so this is stabilized here so is tarah se wo change hote rahega depending on your so now if you are in state 3 or say then you can choose go to go to either 4 or 1 and once you go to 4 you can you have to so you always pick the highest one go to five or if you go to one also you can go to five so you start from any let's say if you start from zero from zero you go to four then from four you go to five so the highest in the row will tell you which action to do and depending on the action the state will also change
इन दोनों को सब्ट्रैक्ट कर लेते हैं और वो जो डिफरेंस है वो उसमें ऐड कर देते हैं जो ओल्ड की की वैल्यू है तो ये लॉजिक से की वैल्यू चेंज होती जाएगी तो अगर एक एक्शन परफॉर्म की आपने और एक्शन प्रॉपर नहीं है तो आपको जो रिवॉर्ड मिलेगा दैट विल बी नेगेटिव तो उससे की वैल्यू कम हो जाएगी अगर आपने एक्शन से परफॉर्म की वो अप्रोप्रिएट है तो आपको पॉजिटिव रिवॉर्ड मिलेगा तो वो जो की वैल्यू है दैट विल बी इंक्रीज तो की वैल्यू भी इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज बेस्ड ऑन टाइप्स ऑफ रिवॉर्ड आर यू पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव सो एक्शन अगर पॉजिटिव है तो नेगेटिव और जो है उससे मालूम कर सकते हैं और नहीं करेक्ट अच्छा नहीं माजा प्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं वर्कशॉप पर ठीक है मालूम है इधर आ रहा है अंशुल अच्छा है तो जैसे बाकी मशीन लर्निंग के अलग-अलग जो मुख्य एग्जांपल जीपी जेड मिली तो जो एक्सपोन्स भी अप्रोच है उससे कर लीजिए तो पॉइंट 
अल्टीमेटली जाके मतलब जो भी आपका रोबोट है ठीक है तो वो जिस स्टेट में है और ये जो गोल स्टेट है उसका वो ऑप्टिमल पास डिसाइड कर देगा बेस्ड ऑन पॉलिसी इसको हुआ क्या जो रोबोट है उसके पास एक पॉलिसी आ गई कि अगर ये स्टेट में है तो लेफ्ट जाना है राइट जाना है वो वो पॉलिसी से देखेगा पॉलिसी से देखेगा मतलब वो क्यू टेबल से देखेगा तो यूजिंग दैट क्यू टेबल वो मे बी शॉर्टेज पास ढूंढ सकता है उस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम से आपको समझ में आ गए थ्री से भी राइट राइट हो सकता है दिस वन ऑफ द शॉर्टेज का मैंने आपको बोला था कि जो ये वैल्यू सेम थी इसका मतलब क्या है दो की वैल्यू दोनों मतलब दोनों साइड से सेम ही है मतलब ये रास्ते से जाओ दोनों पास के अंदर ये रास्ते से जाओ दोनों पास के अंदर दोनों में से एक से भी सकता है तो देयर कैन बी मोर देन वन शॉर्टेज पास ये एक शॉर्टेज पास अगर ये शॉर्टेज पास सक्सेस नहीं होता तो आप इसको क्या करना बोलते हैं नंबर ऑफ डिफेंस सबसे बड़ा नहीं होता मतलब वो को लॉस कर देता है क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं प्रोबेबिलिटी इन्वॉल्व है अगेन दिस इज अप्रोक्सीमेशन अल्गोरिथम मतलब कुछ के लिए कुछ ऐसे प्रॉब्लम है कि यहां पे परफेक्ट आंसर नहीं मिलेगा लेकिन अप्रोक्सीमेशन आंसर तो मिल जाएगा तो ये लॉजिकल अलग अलग जगहों पे अप्लाई कर सकते हैं तो हम लोगों ने इसको ड्रॉप आउट के लिए अप्लाई किया था तो वहां पे बाय रूल वो इजीली एक्सेप्ट हो गया सेम को रिप्रेजेंट करने के अलग अलग लॉजिक हो सकते हैं तो जो भी ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच है उस पे उसमें डिपेंड करता है वी कैन ओपन तो डिपेंड है कि दैट इज टोटली डिपेंड ऑन यू कि आप इसको स्पेस स्पेस को रिप्रेजेंट कैसे करते हो इट कैन बी फाइनाइट स्पेस और इट कैन बी इनफाइनाइट स्पेस स्टार इज सेम इट इज दो ही हो सकते हैं वो प्रॉब्लम को मॉडल कैसे करते हैं उसके ऊपर बेस्ड है अगर कोई हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल नहीं है हमने एक वर्क किया था उसको इनफाइनाइट स्पेस में कंटीन्यूअस स्पेस के ऊपर दूसरे में उसको रिस्ट्रिक्ट किया था नंबर ऑफ स्टेट वर्क 9 है एक्सट्रापोलेट किया व्हाट्सएप पर पाठ तुम्हारा दुसरा दाखवा है सो सो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इज कैन गो डाउन थ्री इज डाउन ये एपिसोड खत्म हो गया तो नो नो तो एपिसोड इज बेसिकली इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्टेट जीरो वन टू फाइव एट नहीं नहीं दिस इज बेसिकली इफ आई एम इन स्टेट सिक्स तो मुझे सेकंड लेना है दैट इज राइट हाँ तो तो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इज दैट देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज दिस डिफ्यूजन मॉडल सो इन डिफ्यूजन मॉडल व्हाट इज टिपिकली डन इज दैट यू मे हैव सो आई शेयर दिस लिंक विद आल्सो यू यू मे हैव सो दिस आर ऑल हैंड रिटन कैरेक्टर्स सो यू मे हैव थ्री यूनिटल कैरेक्टर where you start introducing the gaussian noise okay so you start introducing gaussian noise 
and then you get something that is completely uh, can say uh, so this is completely messed up in the sense that you can't figure out what is that okay so this is a very very random thing it says that everything is looks like a noise okay but this noise was introduced systematically so gaussian noise was introduced into the universe and then you got here now this diffusion models what they do is that they take from here and they systematically try to remove the noise so that you can reach here okay so these are all again states and you go from one state to another state you can go down now go down go down so if you see so these are all states where you have gone from a zero state which was your original picture to completely chaos chaotic state which is your last state x state and the goal is to reverse this process. so you come from this state to this state to this state to this state so this uh, this image processing technique is basically a mixture of uh, predicting the next model using neural network and using the reinforcement learning for training that neural network uh, weight so it is a mixture of two things and uh, this is used uh, for uh, trying to anti blur the images only that uh, if you go up go up so this is basically the images which are generated by dali dali i think everyone knows right do you know what is dali okay dali is an ai based image generation engine thoda sa upar jao so so uh, so this is a models which are these are all, these are not real images in the sense that these are not clicked images these are all images which are generated by the image engine which is called as dali which is basically by the same uh, company which open ai so chat gpt and dali so this is uh, like chat gpt gives you answers so this gives you images okay so go down and these images are can be taken from the prompt so you can say that i want a image of a soup so it will generate an image of the soup okay go down go uh, so go down so again come thoda sa so uh uh thoda sa niche ho so these are again all generated images these are not real images these are all generated by ai go down go down go down go down so if you see uh, this diffusion models are basically now taking the next step based not on the uh, reward function but based on the noise that has been introduced तो अभी रिवॉर्ड फंक्शन का जो हमारा ये फिक्स था कि एवरी रिवॉर्ड फंक्शन वाज अ डिस्क्रीट फिक्स वैल्यू लाइक 100 80 60 एंड देन देयर वाज अ गामा डैम्पिंग फैक्टर इंस्टेड इट इज हैविंग अ रैंडम नॉइज व्हिच इज इंटरनल ओके एंड देन एक्सपैंड दिस गो डाउन साइड दिस इज मेड
so if you see this differential models are trained by finding the reverse markov transition from ht to that maximize the likelihood of training data so it is a mixture of two things one is deep learning and another is reinforcement learning so that we can't go into the mathematics of that but uh, ultimately uh, reinforcement learning directly cannot be used for image processing because we can't have a step wise thing to them to process images but it has been used in other ways like there are millions of uh, text associated with images so you have image and below that there is a description of that image so what these people have done is that they have taken this text and image and then they have done this reinforcement learning to find out the cosine distance between that text and an image and now you have this transitions to do dal e where you give a description and you can generate an image so you can go down go down go down go down from there go down go down ट So that's the change, okay? And uh, so that is labeled from x1 to x3, and uh, you can only go from one step to another. And the transitions are Gaussian. So instead of you having fixed values, that you will learn, earn a reward of this from going from step one. So that is now random, and uh, that uh, you have certain characteristics of that random variable, and uh, after that go down uh so the training objective is to maximize the likelihood of the training data and uh, you so you tune the parameters such that uh, so this tuning of the parameters is basically done by uh, deep learning and uh, okay go down so a discrete so i don't know what this means but somehow you basically decode the pixel value okay and this can be done using pytorch you can go down so you, using the pytorch you can create uh, such diffusion model go down and uh, so you can create uh, some random noise and then come back so i think you can go down 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 so here is an example that is so they have created uh, so they have given a random image uh, randomized image and from there you can generate the final image okay and this essentially is used in dal e2 so which is an image generation engine go down go down जनरेट इमेजेस म्यूजिक विडियो एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट आल पोर्टल टू अनादर डायमेंशन एज डिजिटल आर्ट दिस वॉज दिवन 
and these are the images that have been generated by dali you can show the images now go down now go down so you see that uh, so you this was the prompt a corgi playing a flame throwing trumpet corgi playing a flame throwing trumpet so this is the images image that is getting generated so these are all this is basically a neural network but this training has happened using the principles of reinforcement learning so the weights of this neural network have been trained based on real so these two techniques have been combined to get a uh, text to image transition okay. go down so i'll share this link you can look at this video also how doll he actually was and these are all the images which which are go down so you can see that this is an image a teddy bear riding a skateboard in times square thoda sa khali zone azun thoda sa bas thamba so so you see that such images it looks very real means that looks like there and that is i don't know if you have there is a recent even modi has said that uh the deep fake these are called as deep fake so deep fake are now a menace to the society because this can be generated by everyone right so this one more if you can go down and show more in this ha hello बराबर ठीक है सो गो डाउन स्लाइटली एक एक मिनट थोड़ा सा वर्ग ये इतना ही है क्या दिस शुड हैव बीन देयर हां मोबाइल में ओके ठीक है सो आई थिंक आई विल शेयर दिस लिंक्स विद यू यू कैन गो थ्रू दिस एंड सो दिस इज द लेटेस्ट in the sense that uh, uh, dal e2 is the latest and dal e3 is currently preview only so not available for general public but it will come to general public in few days and can generate videos images people are making um, cartoon films 5 minute 10 minute cartoons in just 2 hours nowadays so that is happening and uh, so again it is all conditional probability going from one state to another state so same thing markov models are working and uh, in image uh, i found that reinforcement learning is useful for this deep fake so they are being used there but uh, not for other things that typically you use for image processing so you can look at uh, the how deep fake uh, dali and other image generation techniques are using uh, reinforcement learning and 